Welcome to our lecture online and now let's take a final look at the mass luminosity relationship. To get a better understanding of stars we begin to realize that if we chart them out in certain ways we get some very interesting information. So this is relationship to main sequence stars and we find that if we draw the relationship between the luminosity of the stars and the mass of stars and we have the vertical axis a lot to be a logarithmic scale so that each next increment is 10 times the previous one it turns out that we get nearly a straight line and now it's not exactly a straight line there are some changes in the slope here and there a little bit but the general relationship is there that we see this straight line relationship between the mass of stars and of course you can also see here that this is kind of in a logarithmic scale to some extent and this is also in logarithmic scale notice that if this is the sun we have one times the mass of the sun and one times the luminosity of the sun right there but then if we have a star that is three times the mass it is roughly about a hundred times the luminosity if we have a star that's five times the mass it's roughly a thousand times the luminosity if we have a star that is ten times the mass of the sun it has roughly ten thousand times the luminosity of the sun on the other side of the scale when we get down to pretty well the smallest size that stars can be about 0.1 times the mass of the sun remember the lowest limit is 0.08 times the mass of the sun the luminosity is about 1 1000th the luminosity of the sun so a very interesting relationship and so it gives you some interesting perspective about the luminosity of stars relative to their masses so it's the very massive stars in the universe that put out a tremendous amount of light and that's another look at the nature of stars.